Well guys, it's the 15th of March and welcome back to my wee local river for the start of a new season. First day of the brown trout season and uh, to paraphrase the beetles, it's been a long, cold, lonely, close season but I'm not so sure about the sun coming. Anyway, it's fine just to be out again. I'm not expecting a great deal today. The river is cold, the, weather, the weather's cold, it's about 9 degrees, it's fairly windy. The river is up a fair bit, slightly murky and the water temperature is about 6 or 7 degrees. So the fish are probably not active. So there'll be a lot of sitting around today I think. Uh, I'll see how long I can stand it, if I can get an hour out of it. If I can, if I can make it last an hour, if I can stand it for an hour. I'll be doing well, I think. I'm, all, I'm already beginning to shiver. But all the signs of spring are here. The, the gorse is in flower again. Just so cheery. And after the, the long, dreary days and the gales and the trees getting blown down everywhere, it's just fine to be out again. And there's another cheery sign up there. There's a buzzard. One of my, one of my pet buzzards flying. Two of them, in fact. Okay, some kind of mating display going on. So today I'll be doing a bit of wandering around, a bit of sitting around, looking for risers. I've got a single dry fly tied on a large dark olive for representation. There is just a narrow chance of fish rising. I'm, I'm not going to fish in them, so I don't think so anyway, because I, I generally find them to be pretty unproductive on this river until, well, till well into April. So anyway, let's give it a go and see what happens. And just hope you can bear with me. Hopefully you won't get too bored watching this. So this is the pool where I had my first fish on film last year. It was a good one as well, it was a couple of pounds. I think it was a sea trout kelp though. But it settled for that today. The roll was the chance of occasional large dark olive coming off at this time of year as long as it's not too cold and just a chance of fish will rise to them so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to look for fish rising and if I don't see any I probably won't even cast some of the guys from the angling club got together and we had a bank a couple of bank clearing days in early February or was it late January, I can't remember, I kind of lost track of time. And there was actually a few fish rising <laughs> just the, in, in the middle of the afternoon, just around about then, which is quite incredible, but that's Scotland for you. It's just so unpredictable, you never know what's going to happen. That first bank clearing outing day, it was actually warmer than it is now. <laughs> As I say, it was the end of January, beginning of February. Those of you who watch my videos regularly will probably recognise this spot. I caught a lot of fish in here last season. But uh, I think it's a bit too fast and cold today. So I'll wander on up a bit and just look for risers in slack water. And if I see one, I'll cast the one. If I don't, I won't. Let's see how it goes. As I said earlier, it's just fine to be out again. These early march outings are largely ceremonial for me. I've always tried to get out in the opening day of the season, I mean, unless it's snowing or monsoon rains or the rivers in flood. But I just like getting out, it's just, it's the first step towards reconnecting with everything. Oh, there's a flight of mallards up there. Just take them off. And some of the local cows waiting to ambush me. I just hope they don't have calves. Because that's when they're really dangerous. Actually, even although the river 
It's just a touch higher than I like to see at the very beginning of the season when it's cold. It does bode well for April. Once it starts to drop back a bit and warm up, the fishing could be pretty good. But that's a, a number of weeks away yet. I mean, this stretch here is usually quite flat, so it's got a good flow on it at the moment. See, that bodes well for later on in the season. Maybe, maybe even in a couple of weeks' time. I notice in the weather forecast that this, the weather is forecast to improve as the week goes on. So I'll maybe get another trip out Thursday, Friday, if it's not too windy. At this time of year, it's just a question of hitting it at the right time. You get a short-lived hatch and it can just bring the fish up out of nowhere. It really can. It's just being here at the right time. I try to get out early afternoon, one, two o'clock, even, even right up until April. I find that gives me the best chance. There's not much point coming out in the morning when it's freezing cold. It's actually feeling quite pleasant at the moment. It might be even 10 degrees, goodness me. Tropical. Well, no sign of anything yet. I'm sure some of you will be thinking to yourselves, why doesn't he just put on a team of wet flies and swing them down these runs? And you know, maybe I would get a fish or two doing that. I don't know. Probably not, but I might do. Or fish a streamer or something like that. But you've just got to fish the way you like to fish. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. On balance it works for me most of the time, but early season, it's just a complete lottery no matter what you do. So I'll stick with the, the sitting around for now. Well guys, there is actually a hatch of flies on. Right now it's just started, large dark olive. You won't be able to see them on the GoPro. It was about a dozen came down in a group just over there. Obviously they came way up there, but no sign of any fish. But that is really quite encouraging. Really big olives. There's another one there. That is very, very encouraging. Perhaps not for today, but it seems to take the fish a while to get used to recognising various types of food as food. Yeah, there's some more coming down. That's actually quite a, quite a hefty hatch for this time of the year. Quite remarkable. Certainly a lot more than I saw in the opening day last year. It was a lot colder than this, so... A lot more miserable. That's really, really encouraging. Especially with the water being as high as it is. That's it, Peter out again. There's nothing, nothing now. No more flies. Ah, there's one there. Only fly fishermen can understand the significance of this. Any member of the general public listening to this would probably get you certified. You should get, him, get this guy sectioned for his own good. But if you're a fly fisher, you understand what I'm on about. Well, yeah, that's actually a decent hatch for any time of the year. But no fish rising. What time is it? Quarter to two, so I'll remember that for later on in the week. If this goes on for a few days, the fish will start recognising these flies as food and they'll start rising. Brilliant. Well, that hatch seems to have petered out, but they are often very short-lived at this time of year. The all of tend to hatch in rough water, so they'll be hatching in that, that streamy water up there and then drifting downstream. See if we can catch one. 
but the water's probably just a touch, still a touch on the cold side for the fish to be active. There's one over there. I mean, how sad is this? A senior citizen out trying to catch flies on the water. <laughs> God almighty, that here's one coming right down towards me here. Ah, missed it. Anyway, they're definitely large to their collars. That water was just a degree or so warmer. I think we would have a rise on here. Yeah, it seems to have petered out. Still the odd olive coming off, but nothing rising. As I said, the water's probably just a bit on the cold side. Water temperature is really important, but it's it's not just as simple as that. There's this lock we used to fish up in Morayshire, a limestone, a weedy limestone lock. And it always fished well early in the season. I remember once I was up there with a guy I used to fish with. The water temperature was five degrees and we caught loads of fish. And it was right at the beginning of the season in March. Five degrees and we caught loads of fish. And we were back a week, two weeks later, and the water temperature was up near 10 and we didn't catch anything. <laughs> so it's certainly not the only factor. It's one of them, but it's not the only factor. It's certainly on the rivers, I like to see it a little bit warmer than 7 or whatever, 6 or 7 or whatever it is today. I didn't measure the temperature today. I was out yesterday for a walk. I took a thermometer when I... And uh, I think the water was seven degrees. I mean, how sad is that? Counting flies on the water, it's <laughs> measuring the water temperature. Only a fly fisherman would understand. Anybody else would think you're bloody crazy. Yes. Loads of flies come there. That's the best early season hatch I've seen for ages. There's still no fish rising. But if that goes on for a few days, maybe next week at this time, maybe even the end of this week, there'll be the occasional fish persuaded to rise. Nobody else on the river and I'm the only one in the area crazy enough to be out. It's actually quite a nice afternoon. Not hardly sunbathing weather, but it's quite pleasant. It really is quite pleasant. Well that hatch petered out. Not a fish to be seen. So if I wander downstream, there's a, another big long glide down here where I've often seen fish active early in the season. There are a couple of decent fish there in the past. But uh, I'll go and have a look. Um, I don't hold it much hope. We'll go and have a look and see. I'm just wondering how many of you guys are still awake after watching this. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So this is the place here, just you can see where the water tends to slacken off. The olives hatch in this streamy water and then drift down. Yep, there are flies hatching here too. There's still no fish moving. Maybe not quite such a heavy hatch as there was further up, but still, still noticeable numbers of flies. I 
Well, that hatch seems to have petered out as well. I think I'm just going to call it a day at that, guys. I've done my duty. I got out in the opening day. And uh, if you've managed to stay with me for this length of time, well, thank you very much. And congratulations for not falling asleep. But uh, we'll just back up there. Maybe come out again later in the week if it warms up a tad. Give these fish a wee while to get used to these flies hatching. And you never know. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video whenever that may be. Bye for now.